Hi everyone, my name is Kai Jiazhong. I'm glad here to present our work, a comparative study on autism spectrum disorder detection with 3D convolutional neural networks. To begin with, let's see the definition of autism spectrum disorder. Autism spectrum disorder is a neurological and developmental disorder, and we usually call it ASD for short. It will cause children social interaction and communication problems and last throughout a person's life. And it's a replacement of the following three subgroups of 2013. Now it's the background and the motivation part. Let's first take a look at this line chart. This chart shows the identified preference of ASD from 2000 to 2016 in the USA. And the preference has increased by 178% in 16 years. Next, let's have a look at the median age of first diagnosis by ASD subgroups. However, research has shown that a diagnosis of ASD at age 2 can be reliable, valid, and stable. There are two possible reasons for this, and with the preference of ASD increasing year by year, many children may not be diagnosed as early as possible. So, an automatic ARD detect system is very important and meaningful. Then, let's see the pipeline of ARD detection. When a child comes, we will first collect some signal. The signals include the following four types. Our work mainly focuses on the action signal. Here are some related work on automatic ARD detection. Now I will introduce our proposed method. First, let's have a look at this set. This set contains video clips of 40 subjects performing rich to grass action with four different intentions. Here are two sample videos in the set. In our work, we propose the following ARD detect procedure. When given a video, Gaussian smoothing is applied to each frame first, and then we will randomly sample 16 consecutive frames n times from the video. These clips are then fed to 3D convolutional models. The output of this script will be averaged to form the final result. Here are some sample frames from the dataset after applying Gaussian smoothing. To explore the performance of 3D convolutional models on the ARD detection task, we propose a new 3D convolutional model by inflating all the 2D convolution and pooling kernels in the ResNet model into 3D kernels. And we also add three different 3D convolutional models for comparison. These are the structures of these three models. Here are our experimental results. On average, our proposed 3D ResNet model achieves the best performance when considering accuracy, FE score, and AOC. And the average detection accuracy is improved from 0.72 to 0.85. Here is a comparison of the detection accuracy of our model and the baseline LST model. We can see that our model outperforms the LSTM model in all classes. This chart shows the average detection accuracy of our model and the LSTM model under different thresholds. Here are the RZ curves between our model and the other four models used in our experiment. We can see that our model outperforms the other four models when the threshold is high. Now, let's make a brief summary of our work. First, our experimental results show that 3D convolutional models are more suitable for video-based ARD detecting tasks than CNN plus LSTM model. And second, we proposed a new 3D convolutional model based on ResNet and improved the ARD detection accuracy from 0.72 to 0.85.
is 5. In addition, I also noticed the problem of the ALD detection distance. Let's take a look at the following two sample videos again. The left is ALD and the right is TD. We can see that it's hard to distinguish the difference between the two videos. Therefore, it's hard for us to explore why some cases fail. So, it may provide more interpretable information if we can explore more meaningful actions for both human and machine. Thanks for your attention.